Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. You, you know what? Let's jump in and read it right now. Um, anyone who I missed in the shout outs or whatever, let me know. You know, if you need a shout out, I will still shout you out. But I think we should probably get to it instead of beating around the bush. Let's uh, let me see. Let me hit it up here. Where is it? Where is it? OK, here we go. All right. So manufacturing. They sent a picture in the email that I got. And it's a picture of their new building, I guess, with mm -hmm. some flags like don't tread on me. And uh, and uh, and I see the American flag and it says manufacturing freedom. So I guess that's their slogan. It says, friends, first and foremost, let me say that I have heard your voices. I put out a statement on Friday supporting Senate Bill S2135, also known as the Fix Nix Act. I have received overwhelming feedback since putting out the statement, which has brought to my attention that there are significant and justified concerns regarding this bill. I can no longer in good conscience put my support behind S2135. I released the original statement because I believe it was in the uh, it was the best option available at this time to hold back the continued attacks on the Second Amendment and the erosion of our rights. I was wrong. Let me be very clear. My life's work is to protect an individual's right to keep and bear arms by holding our lawmakers accountable to the Second Amendment. I believe that all firearms laws that limit the rights of law-abiding citizens are unconstitutional. I will never support any legislation which infringes on any individual rights and could potentially subvert due process. Myself, my family, and Daniel Defense love and serve our veterans every day. I would never support a legislative measure which would strip them of their rights based on their history of service and sacrifice. And then he goes on to say, thank you to everyone who reached out and voiced your concerns. You are a motivated and passionate group of people, which I am proud to call my peers, my friends, and my family. We are all united in one fight the fight to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. I will never turn my back on you. I stand with you, and I'm ready to continue to fight for our rights. And it's signed, Marty Daniel. What do you think? I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of back to the point. Hey, it, it was a real well-written apology. It really was. Um, I think he gave as, as I would say he gave as much thought into the apology, probably more. Oh, there is, there is baby face. Look at baby face. Oh. He gave um he get, don't don't interrupt me while I'm talking with your childish face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you just wake up? Oh, right. Oh, he's not saying he's not listening to us. Yeah, I can hear I, you guys. I, I no I, I'm yeah. trying not to interrupt Kevin with my baby face. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just talking about Mr. Marty Daniel's apology. Yeah, did you see the letter? No, no, I haven't. I guess there's, go a new, there's a new letter. Uh go look on Max uh Facebook page, you'll see it. Okay, go ahead, Kevin. Sorry. Oh no no no! Fine guys, I think that um, he I, I think that they put just as much energy into writing the apology as he probably he put into writing the original letter. Obviously, he didn't he wasn't thinking clearly the first time. Um, I I would say that I think the apology is acceptable, but you still can't be trusted because it's it's not. And I'm not I'm not calling for a boycott of the products or anything like that. But man, that was a that was a big swing and that hurt. Um, so although you apologize, it doesn't mean the sting goes away. It doesn't mean that I don't know that you punched me in the face. You know, the hurt's still there. Um, so I would treat him just like we treat any uh, politician. Like, we're going to have to monitor you, man. And we're going to have to watch you. Now, for each individual, if you choose as a free individual to say, you know what? I don't care what KD says. I don't care what Hank says. I don't care what Marty Daniel says. I'm not buying his product. Hey, man. I totally get it. Like I'm not. I can't be mad at you because you make that decision because we hold. Even if you do the opposite, right? Even if you do yeah. the opposite, if you're like, oh, now I'll go back to buying their stuff. Yeah. If I see you with a DD right range, I'm not gonna like take a picture and make fun of you either. No, yeah, man. it's cool. I mean, you got to make your own decisions. I, I I do think that we also have to be careful, and I'm not saying forgive them or don't forgive them. That's not my point here, but we have to be careful about weakening ourselves as well because sometimes you just use you need to use people hey right now we need all the strength we can get even if i gotta watch you closely um we need all the people on our side we can get whether they're wishy-washy all the way with us or something we gotta watch them but we can't just toss away a huge company like that if they're apologizing uh because what if we bark at him for not apologizing and he goes back right and he mm -hmm. starts throwing his millions of dollars behind supporting the bill now that could be risky too so it's a game man you got to balance it out 